This is, uh, anybody know Elizabeth Gilbert's work? Elizabeth Gilbert, she's a writer. She did Eat, Pray, Love. She also did a book called um, Big Magic. Do you know it? Okay, so that had such an impact on the way that if you are, she presented this theory that like if art was a person, how's your relationship going with it? Like are y'all dating? Did you break up? Are you married? Do you sleep in the same bed? Are you tight? Are you not? And it blew me away because I started imagining my own relationship with art as if it were a person. And then this came out. This is called Elizabeth Gilbert. It's kind of fast. Elizabeth Gilbert has this quote in her book, Big Magic. It made me take a slow, crooked step backwards. She said, you love art, or does art love you back? Word. What if words have their own volition? What if working on art is more about looking within and listening than pushing a pen? What if your relationship with art is no different than a relationship with a person? And if the answer to that first question is yes, you love art, but does art love you back? I'm gonna guess that you've loved art since you were a little kid. And I'm gonna bet you're gonna love art for the sparse minutes you get in this thing we call existence. And like any long-term relationship, it's not gonna be perfect. But if you really love the person, you make the time to make the time to sit down and listen when they cry. You become a student of what moves them. You'll be the wind above their noodle captain. When was the last time you listened to your art with that much enthusiasm if you argue for your limitations and you win congratulations you get to keep them if you argue for your limitations and you win congratulations you get to keep them Thanks for having me tonight, guys. This is a fucking amazing show, and I'm really thankful to be a part of it. If you have really high standards for your art, it can sometimes feel like your art is out of your league. Like it has perfect teeth and clear skin, and you're a nerd defeated by your weird friends. At the church retreat, you were near them. Well, they told fart jokes, and your art was like, oh! And now it's way too popular to even talk to you But if it did speak, it would tell you to go vent up a different skirt, please Insert burning slur, here go Kiss a toe to give it the herb, you weirdo A fox is a home in a foxhole And the same should go for you Inside your skin But sometimes, y'all, it's not So If you argue for Your limitations And you win Congratulations, you get to keep them If you are you for Your limitations And you win Congratulations, you get to keep them Sometimes I think my art is ashamed of me As if I'm illegitimate or not who I claim to be Payments on layaway came today I didn't know I bought a sofa Or needed so far to go far it's hard to see with all this heat and humidity, I'm fogging up I gotta zoom out, when a god of love is speaking, who am I to tune out? And I don't understand the art game's antiquated Can we make it fantasy laden in view of success? Fake it till you make it makes a faker in training And who would guess, make it only when you feel it Also reveals itself as only having part-time heart behind it Then, there's the few who are blessed With the we don't shun abundance when it moves to our chest mindset Dear typewriter, I'm each of these three type of writers And I'm next Thank y'all so much, y'all doing okay? Fantastic! <laughs> Jesus, I love you guys.